And now, it's all that. Introduction before I blow your mind. The show is all that, and yes, we do it all the time. So sit your booty on the floor or in a chair, grounds are in the air. Just don't go nowhere, cause everything we do, it's all that. When entertaining you, it's all that. My posse and my crew, it's all that. So sit still, cause we're coming right back. Let's get it in, do dog. Hello, everyone. Welcome to All That. I'm Julie Maurtiz. And I'm Jazri Peralta. We have a fun show ahead of us with a lot of segments featuring students on campus, an interview with campus celebrity Chelsea Herbert, and a live performance by student artist Sammy Maximin. But to start off, let's talk about Homecoming. Homecoming was last weekend. Mm -hmm. What did you think about the theme? It was out of this world. I mean, last year it was, what, Vegas. What did you think about right. this theme this year? Um, you know, I thought it was cute. It was different than stuff we've seen before, and I saw a lot of the posters that all the cl different clubs and stuff made, and they were really cute. cute. What was your favorite event? I liked Sibling Night. I like that they mix Sibling Night with Homecoming because my nephew got to like um, experience Homecoming. Aww. He's only seven, and he came. My favorite part was Pep Rally, just because yes. there was so much like going on. There's all the different sports and stuff. Teams like together. Mm -hmm. A lot of dancing. A lot of twerking. Yeah. So that was interesting. You know, a lot of people were wigging out. So yeah, I think? like how like everyone came together. You don't really see the athletes a lot and when you do see them like you see them at their games but when they all come together they're all like goofing off you get to know them as like yeah, their personality exactly. it's so cool we have a highlight reel right of all the different people dancing and stuff so let's check it out I had the guts to go up in front of like all those people and dance. Those people had a lot of guts to do that. Yes, <laughs> homecoming was amazing. There were so many events. We asked students to hashtag all that um, when they posted their pictures on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. And we actually had a lot of people hashtag all that. Okay. And here are some of our favorite pictures. So first off, we have Rhea Victoria J. Tori uploaded a picture of her cupcake from the homecoming tailgate and the cupcake truck was there. I heard they were awesome. We have Liv Cintron with her float picture. Olivia took a picture of the Crescent Players homecoming float and it won first place in the parade. We have Nicole Allison 612 took a picture of the pep rally with her sorority sisters and her friends. That was awesome. Jimbo Sports. Jimbo took a picture of the cheerleaders during their toss and tumbles at the homecoming pep rally. And we have PJ Nicholas 12. PJ shared a picture from the line at Bingo during the first night of homecoming. Autumn Spinner. Autumn shared the cuteness of her siblings posing with Otis, the school mascot, during sibling night. And another one from Nicole Allison 612. Nicole shares the completion of one of her Southern bucket lists, getting band certified. Jimbo rocked his Wizard of Oz face paint from the homecoming parade. Looking good, Jimbo. Right. And here's Gabby Baru. Gabby shared a picture from her friends at homecoming pep rally. <laughs> and finally, we have Real Victoria J once again with an epic picture of the Founders Gate from a really cool angle. 
We had so much fun looking through all those photos. Thank you to everyone who submitted some. And if you want to see your photos on our next show, make sure that you hashtag all that on any of your photos around campus or anything Southern related, and we'll be sure to put them on our show. Yep, the next theme for hashtag all that is going to be Halloween. And to spark up the fire, we asked students all around campus what they were going to be for Halloween, and here's what they said. I think I'm going to be a cowgirl for one of the parties I have to go to, and then if I have time, I was going to make a zombie hunter costume for the other one. I want it to be like a like belly dancer, like from like Bollywood. I'm thinking I'll either be Jesus or like the grapes from the Fruit of the Loom. Oh yeah, we're going to be minions. <laughs> uh, I'm actually planning on being Flo from Progressive. Miley Cyrus with a wrecking ball. <laughs> a bride. Spring Breaker. I'm gonna be a duck, my roommate's gonna be a goose, and we're gonna run around playing duck, duck, goose with each other. I plan on being a cave woman. What am I planning on being for Halloween? <laughs> How about a media studies professor? Nice. Yeah. I might be a detective. A ninja. <laughs> I was thinking about being Ted. That's good. Yeah, as a full body suit. That's good. Uh, I haven't really thought about it yet. <laughs> I don't think it's appropriate for the camera either. For Halloween, Luigi. Um, a minion. So maybe some kind of animal. I have a kitty outfit and I have a referee outfit. My boyfriend and I are planning on being Dog and Bass from the Bounty Hunter. For Halloween, I'm going to be Tupac Shakur. I'm going to be, for Halloween this year, a witch. A cave woman, actually. I'm going to be a lion. I'm going to be a tin man. I'm going to be a kitty cat. <laughs> I plan on uh, being a kitty cat, so <laughs> yeah, meow. Now, please welcome our special guest tonight, Chelsea Hebert. On September 25th, a very special student's dream came true when she got to sing with Michael Bublé on stage. Check out the clip. amazing moment how how did that happen um honestly even just watching it now like it still puts like the biggest smile on my face um how it happened was that was my fourth time seeing him and I that was actually the first time though that I was closest to the stage that way and for such a long time I've been such a big fan of him and I said to myself for years and years like I'm gonna sing with him one day I'm gonna sing with him one day so went to the dollar store got a poster <laughs> big black marker and I wrote a sign, let me sing with you Mr. Buble, went to the concert, um, he saw it and before I knew it I was on stage. Yeah, and I remember you told me that everyone had signs, so mm -hmm. why do you think you picked your sign out of everyone else's? Um, well I waited until he came to my side of the stage and I made it very known for him to see mine and I was jumping up and down like crazy woman and he actually looked at me and he was like what show do you think this is do you think you're on the prices right right now because you know how they like jump up and down like crazy and um yeah I think I just got his attention by screaming and jumping up and down so much it's still even to this day it doesn't register in my mind um I remember when we were talking for a while and then he invited me up on stage. I I turned to my godmother Dawn and I and the first thing I thought of was, Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Like somebody needs to tape this for me. Like I need to show it to everybody. And she was like, Just get up on stage, Chelsea, like what are you doing? And when I was walking up, I had my hands like this and I was shaking and I was crying and um the security guard actually said to me that I needed to calm down and that everything was going to be okay. And it I remember when I turned to my right and I saw him, my, I saw Buble waiting for me and I, it, it was, it's all history, I don't, I don't remember anything after that. And when you were making the sign, did you actually think, you know, this is the day, like? Um, when I made the sign, uh, 
my roommate Juana with, was with me and we were just talking about how cool it would be and like in my heart like I really wanted it to happen but I knew in reality like the odds of that happening mm -hmm. but I was so like in my mind I was so persistent that like I wanted this to happen and I remember I like leaned the big sign up against the wall and when I left to drive to Hartford um, I just kept like thinking to myself, oh, what if it happens, what if it happens? And I was so excited. Like I felt like since I was so positive about it and I have been dreaming about it for so long, in my mind, I just thought like, how could it not happen? I don't, I don't know, it was a weird, it's a weird feeling. Where do you want to take your, your singing aspirations? Do you want to be a professional singer? Do you want to be famous? I would love to be famous. Everybody would love that, but I'm such, the type of person where I mean like anybody I love my personal life as well and I, I like I want to get married and have a family and kids so it, it's a scary thought like where like this could eventually go but I would take it any day like I would love that to have like I would love to do something I love so much as singing as a career and go like that in my life so well congratulations it sounds like an amazing experience hopefully we get to see you on Southern Idol this year if you want to follow Chelsea's Facebook page, please like her Facebook page, it's Chelsea Hebert. Also, if you want to watch the video one more time or a thousand more times, follow the link below. And now, here's word of the day. What do you think Borborygmus means? What did you say? What's the word again? Borborygmus. Borborygmus. Do you repeat that? What do you think the word borborygmus means? I have no idea. You want to give me like a hand? <laughs> I have no idea. Borborygmus? Oh, uh... She's cheating. She's cheating. <laughs> Borborygmus. Do you use any sense of that? I don't know what the word bor means. Um, I don't know. It's not... Borborygmus? Something broad? Oh, is that a type of bird? I don't know. Brave? <laughs> uh, brave? Sounds like something about boring. Sounds like some sort of animal, like feature that an animal would do, like a fish or something. Uh, that's an option on on the car. It's a it's a type of engine. Uh, ridiculous. Yeah. It sounds like something <laughs> scientific. It means uh, someone who is nice, like this guy. Um, I think it has something to do with being uh, very prickly. Probably like, like terrible. It just sounds like awful. So, Julie, would you rather be in jail for a year or be homeless for a year? No, I'm asking you this because last week we went around campus asking students random questions about things like that that you would never probably really have to deal with in real life just to get their answers, and we got some really funny and interesting I bet answers. I did. <laughs> so, this is our segment, Would You Rather? Would you rather suck on a hobo's toe for one minute or wear? <laughs> Wait, I'm not done. Would you rather be homeless for two years or be in jail for two years? I'd rather be homeless for two years. Why is that? Um, I can make money different. I can be a professional bum. Yes. <laughs> professional uh, bum. Okay, interesting. Would you rather get a sponge bath from an old person or give an old person a sponge bath? I would rather give a person a sponge bath. I just feel like I'd be more in control, and I'd rather decide what I will and won't wash, I guess. <laughs> Would you rather have uncontrollable flatulence or uncontrollable body odor? Probably fart, because I have an excuse. You can walk away from it? Yeah. Blame it on someone else. Yeah. Uncontrollable flatulence or uncontrollable body odor? Flatulence. Why is that? Because I have it already. I deal with it pretty well. <laughs> Would you rather go without your beloved phone for one whole month or go without a shower for two weeks? Simple. I would definitely go without the phone. 
I can't go down that shore for two weeks. Like, that's just <laughs> Would you rather go without your phone for one whole month, no Twitter, no nothing, no texting anybody, or go without a shower for two weeks? No phone? Day, no phone. You'll be like alienated from all your friends. Yeah, you about the shower. <laughs> They'll probably be alienated anyways if you go about the shower for two weeks because they won't be near you. So, <laughs> would you rather have uncontrollable flatulence or uncontrollable body odor? Body odor. Why is that? <laughs> because I could spray some Chanel Number no. Five and get rid of it. Okay. <laughs> would you rather? Give an old person a sponge bath, or have an old person give you a sponge bath? Oh, give me a sponge bath. <laughs> and your reasoning? Shower me with love. <laughs> Would you rather suck on a hobo's toe for one minute, or wear a rainbow tutu for a whole month? That's, that's actually really hard. I'll, I'll suck on the, the hobo's toe, actually. I'd rather do that than be embarrassed for a whole month. That's what I said. I'd be like, you'd be the rainbow tutu guy exactly. within a day. Exactly. I don't want to be that guy. People would take pictures of me and be like, I don't want to be that you know. That's permanent pictures. Yeah, exactly. Oh, rainbow tutu, easily. I've done it before. Don't, don't tell anyone. <laughs> would you rather suck on a hobo's toe for one minute or wear a rainbow tutu for a whole month? All right. Is it, is it a female? Is it a female hobo? It is a male hobo. <laughs> I'm playing, nah, I, wear, I, I wear the tutu. I don't care if you think. A rainbow tutu, a whole month straight. That's, you got to think about both sides. You know you'll be the rainbow tutu guy for like the rest of your life, right? Yeah, it's a toe, bro. What, what it's a hobo's toe, toe, though. You don't know. You don't know. It's just a hobo. So you're saying hobo and you're saying tutu. Wait, it's a dude, right? Yeah. Can't be a girl. What does it matter? It's a toe. No, no, no. Can't be a girl hobo. <laughs> All right, it's a girl hobo I'm for you. The toe. you. You hear me, America? I'm taking the toe. <laughs> Our next guest on the show is a Christian rapper, singer, producer, songwriter, and a sophomore here at SCSU, Sammy Maximin. Welcome to the show, Sammy. Thank you for having me. So, you're a musician. Yes. What got you into music? Um, I've been doing music since I was like six years old, and you know, we all grew up around music. My sister and I, and my siblings, listening to Michael Jackson, Bob Marley, Elvis, all those people, and Really looking at Michael Jackson a lot so much, just I was like, man, I want to be on a stage with him. You know, mm. I want to be like him. And I started writing at six. I was playing the violin. Then around like 12 or 13, I, um, I started writing, you know, writing my own songs. Around 15, I started rapping and I taught myself how to play the drums, how to play the piano and basically any like little percussion instrument I could pick up. And, you know, then I started producing. What project, projects have you worked on in the past or you're working on now that you um, should know about? Well, my album Individuality, which is now on iTunes, Amazon, and Spotify, that was uh, something I started working on my sophomore year in high school. And, um, you know, draft after draft, it was like finished at least 10 times. And then I kind of hit like a point in my life around junior year where I was like at an all time low. And that's when all the great music started coming into me. It's weird, you know, a bittersweet moment. And I remember walking and music just coming to me, you know, like I felt like so down, you know, like my skies. There's one song on the album called Disappear. Mm -hmm. And the chorus says, all my skies are colored gray, my joy is fade, and the pain found its way back. And I came up with those lines just by walking to class, you know. Isn't that interesting yeah. though? It's always, you always hear that about artists though, where it's like, yeah. even though it's like such a bad part in their life or something, mm -hmm a lot of good work comes yeah. out of it. So there's some positive aspects. You never know when it's going to come. <laughs> exactly. So, so um, what single are you going to be singing for us today? Um, I Am Here. It is a, a song produced, written by me, recorded, and all that other stuff. Um, I wrote it last year, around last November, and it's basically about a person of faith. You know, they, they love God. They want to do what He wants them to do. And they're trying, but they've reached a point where they don't hear God, they don't feel God, everything they're feeling is just, it seems like they're playing, you know? Right. Like God isn't there. But the whole song, I Am Here, is he counteracts that. He says, through all that, I'm still here, mm -hmm. you know? Through all your feeling, I'm still here. And that song for me, it's just, 
it's reality for me because I've been there and it's basically a reality for any person of faith because right. they've all been there. And even people who aren't necessarily Christian, I think, can definitely relate mm. to it. Oh, yeah. Just because definitely. everyone has their ups and downs and oh, yeah. depending on, doesn't even matter what they believe in. Mm -hmm. I think we can all relate to that. And I think the thing about that is I think it relates more to the people who aren't Christian. Personally, I feel like that because like we hear about all this stuff and then we're like, okay, if there's really a God, why does this stuff happen to me? Mm -hmm. You know, if he's really there, why is all of this going on in the world? But his simple answer, I'm still here. I've always been here. You know, through everything you go through, there's a plan. So that's the message I want to get across. Love it. Okay, so um, where can we reach you when it comes to social websites? Like, you want to give us your Instagram or okay. YouTube <laughs> and stuff like that? <laughs> okay, so um, YouTube, basically you can just type in Sammy Maximin or you can just go on Google, type in Sammy Maximin, everything should come up. Um, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Facebook. Twitter and Instagram, it's Sammy Maximin KG. My Facebook is Sammy Maximin. My email is sammymaxman at gmail.com. Everything is on the internet. So just type my name on Google. You'll find it all. And now, performing his single, I Am Here, Sammy Maximin. When you fall down, just know that I'm here. You, 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 you. King Glory. They say relationship is based off communication You got my trust, but I must say I'm sick of waiting For an answer when I'm desperate and I'm calling on you Can you at least acknowledge me when I'm talking to you? I can take it when you're silent I can stand to be reminded that I'm lost and I'm blinded Do you see how much I'm trying? Cause all I do is live for you and everything I did for you Now I'm sick and tired, I have nothing left to give to you Huh, what am I doing? I'm about to turn my back I'm about to call it quits cause I'm down on my last Look at how I run from you, look at how I come to you You always seem to find me and I don't mind it cause I'm in love with you Now I'm suicidal, addicted but ending now And I know it's been a while, it's been weeks since we spoke with this lump in my throat, I just gotta let you know That I'm calling on you God, don't you dare let me go I'm here, I'm a star, I am a light in the dark I'm here, I am truth, I hold the key to your heart I'm here, I'm a healer and I hear you crying you gotta realize, I'm here with you. When you fall down, just know that I'm here with you. When you cry out, just know that I'm here with you. When you fall down, just know that I'm here with you. So you decide not to speak while I'm filled with grief. While the vision's bleak and victory seems out of reach. And while I'm weak and sink and bleed the stench of my defeat. And while the world gets a kick looking right at me. Look at how I feel, this loneliness is real I feel like no one really cares, no one will help me heal So I'm seeking thrills, taking pills, skipping meals Just reckless out the world, I promise I ain't sleep until I finally see your face, need something to erase This pain I'm carrying, I'm so weary, tell me where are you? We back in middle school and I was laughed at and ridiculed And all through high school, that girl who left me scarred and bruised Cause I was soldier in your army, yeah I fought for you In the front line to the drum line, yeah I marched for you But I'm so sick of fighting, I get nothing new so I'm calling on you to please come and see me through. I'm here, I'm a star, I am a light in the dark. I'm here, I am true, I hold the key to your heart. I'm here, I'm a healer, and I hear you crying. I'm too far. But you gotta realize, don't we know I'm here with you. When you fall down, just know that I'm here with you. Now listen carefully Sam, I'm the Lord your God and it's clear to see You cried painfully and it seems you lost your faith in me But I covered you with truth, I gave my love to you You won't see what you're going through But try and take some time, clear your mind Just look at where you're going to See, you may not understand and comprehend what I'm doing Just be willing, just know I got a plan, it's not the end I've always been your refuge, your fortress I even stir up by you when you make the wrong choice Point, believe you're broken when they try and break you They hate you, but take a look and see just what I made you but every tear that gave you was the way that I repay you So just be patient, keep on waiting, keep your faith in my salvation I'm here, I'm a star, I am a light in the dark I'm here, I am true, I hold the key to your heart I'm here, I'm a healer and I hear you crying I'm too but you gotta realize we I'm here with you When you fall down, just know that I'm here I'm 
My name is Sammy Maxman, and you are now watching Owl That. Thank you.